Welcome to part two of the Easy to Find Retrofit video. Uh, in this video, I just want to explain how everything's done to get to uh, this kit installed. So let's go ahead and start. So obviously, you get a new harness. So that's right here. Um, the plugs uh, they go directly into your injectors. These aren't swapped out. These are in stock injectors, and they just plug right in. You do get two extra ones because this is for this uh, EFI kit can be used for a V8, but those aren't used. Uh, a few more changes here. As you can see, there's no airflow meter. That's deleted. You just get a pipe. Uh, it instead, uses a map sensor, which is here. Uh, it's a GM part. You can get this at any store, but with the kit, it's included. Uh, you change the coolant temp sensor over here. This is another GM part. Just this, this uh, threads right in, and it'll plug right in. No mods there. Uh, your throttle position sensor is swapped out. You get the uh, bracket here, which allows you to stick this on. This is also a GM part. Everything from this kit is from GM, basically. So it's really easy to find parts for it instead of hunting down Z parts. Um, this is idle air control. Uh, it just goes to a vacuum source there and harness plugs in. Uh, this is your, over here, this is how the ECU sees the RPM. So I just got it, this is from the harness, it plugs in to there. Then you get your white wire. It goes to the negative side of the coil, and then it's just grounded right here. So that's how that's set up. And the only thing I would say that's the hardest part about this kit is uh, taking all this apart. Because I'm, I'm assuming that you don't have an O2 sensor on your Z. Uh, mine didn't because I have this header. I mean, I could have got it. I could have got a header with an O2 bung already on, but I didn't have it. So I have to take all this apart. Uh, get it welded on there. Let's see. This um, this kit is for the uh, fuel system only, so your ignition is not changed. So the distributor is the same. It didn't do nothing to that. Uh, didn't mess with any of the wires for that. Um, spark plugs are the same. Uh, spark plug wires are the same. So yeah, it's just this kit's just for your fuel systems. Okay, this is where the ECU sits. This is waterproof and all that, so it could be an engine bay if you wanted. But I just have it in a stock location. Okay, so off the harness, there's a power in the ground, and those go directly to the battery. That's what the instructions say. If you don't do it that way, they said there could be like interference or something. So I just got it straight to the battery. Uh, this pink wire is your 12 volt. I have it to a switch over here. So I hit the switch and it turns on everything. Um, or you can find the wire that is uh, activated with the 12 volt. All right, now the hard part about wiring. Um, since you're not gonna be using your old fuel pump relay, you have to get a new relay and then wire that up. Uh, it's not too bad. So there's a wire that comes off the harness. It will be labeled. It will say fuel pump. And then you hook it up to a relay and then you get power and ground in a 12 volt to that relay. That's basically it. Uh, I'll put up a clear uh, diagram so you guys can see what I'm saying. Alright, once you get your wiring figured out um, and you boot it up, this is what you see for the first time. So you're gonna go to setup wizard here. I'm not going to do this right now because if I do this, it's going to reset everything. But uh, it'll basically take you through all the steps to uh, input the numbers for your engine. And Z Car Depot will send you a sheet. And you basically plug in all these numbers. So there's your cubic inches. So it's uh, 171. It tells you um, all the other information about this. Uh, I'm going to walk through basically what I showed you in the setup wizard. So it's going to ask you number of cylinders. You put six. 
ask you for cubic inches, you're gonna put 171, which is equal to 2.8. Uh, I got my idle at 800, and you can set your rev limit. To, um, I have a 6,400. Uh, you probably don't want to go much higher than that on idle 28. Okay, and then you're gonna go. It's gonna show you this eventually in the setup wizard. You're gonna want to go to other for your throttle body. Uh, number injected to six. Your injected rating is at 19. Uh, it tells you this on the, uh, the sheet that Z Car Depot sends you with the kit. Your fuel pressure is set to 40. That's what it says on the sheet that they gave me. Uh, it's going to want you to tell, calibrate the TPS. So you're going to release your. Uh, you basically hit calibrate when you're th off throttle, then you hit calibrate again when you're on full throttle. You can set your idle here. You basically want this to be in the green when your car is running. So you just adjust your idle until you get to the green part. And then that's basically it on your setup. Uh, the screen is not necessary to run, but it is necessary to do your first uh, initial setup. After that, you don't need it anymore, but I like to keep it because it shows a bunch of info you can see it's not on right now, but there's all the info I got. All right, so here's all the old stuff that I'm not using anymore. Obviously, the old ECU is here, the old harness is here, airflow meter is here now, a uh, bunch of relays here. This is the old throttle position sensor. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I did this. Uh, conversion kit because I have a problem with my car running so basically there's a bad connection somewhere in here on my uh, harness so I could like wiggle this around and it will shut off the car which is a problem obviously and it would do it sometimes when I'm driving or like even just shut the door and, you know freak out enough for it to shut off um, I tried different ECU's and I felt like it worked for a little bit but then the, the problem came back so I decided that the problem was within the harness and I don't know what I can really do with this I mean it looks like it's in okay condition but the problem still happened after I changed things around all right I'm gonna start up now and show you how it runs Alright, so there it is running on the new system. You can see it's pretty smooth. Give it a couple revs for you. Uh, the ECU starts learning when the temp gets to. Uh, the ECU will start learning when the temp gets to 140. As you can see, you're at 120 right now. And the little thing up here is that learning that will light up green and that's when the uh, EC will start tuning itself and uh, self-learning so yeah I like to keep the handheld on there because um, it will show you all the info here um, it's not needed to run you just need to uh, set everything up first and then you don't need it anymore but I like to keep it on here if you go through this menu, you can see a little bit more uh, info here. Alright, so the engine reached uh, 140 on the coolant temp, as you can see here. The learning uh, icon here is lit up, so this means the ECU will uh, self-tune at this point. So it's not only at idle, it's whenever you're driving, it will uh, self-tune. All right, I hope this uh, answers any questions you guys had about the setup. Uh, of course, if you have any more questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section.